Hello guys, welcome back to part two of um, the importance of layering and making a solid groove style track. We've kind of gone to the more like micro house minimal route, but who's to say solid grooves wouldn't release something like that anyway, so that's fine. So yeah, we've got some cool colours going on, it's like a bag of Skittles. There's some, uh, some of these graphite looking guys. Let's hear the track and see where we are at. So yeah, cool, nice little intro. I feel like... Yeah, I'm just gonna increase the volume of this. This is arguably one of the slower tracks I've made, which is fun. Wow, that is a nice kind of kick bongo loop, it's almost got a vocal in there. vocal it's kind of like uh, the impact vocal it's nice to have something there um, so it just it makes the listener aware that the drops happen uh, that's cool Maybe something like that I like the idea of individual hits having different sounds on them. It just adds texture and groove and keeps it interesting and kind of unpredictable. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, life is a wonderful gift. And with these words, I hope I'll lift your spirits up. stripping down layers um, uh, on the drop just to kind of have it build in complexity. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, life is a wonderful gift. And with these words, I hope I'll lift your spirits up. Nice, so I turned that bass down uh, semitone. Uh, or oh, sorry, one decibel. I turned the bass down decibel and it now fits perfectly. Oh, Vocal's a bit loud, but I do love it. Yeah. 
beats in there. Give me a 
and the end of that little thing I thought was really good, so you know, not all, all the ideas pay off, but it's just a bunch of random little noises I was trying to create some people crushing through, you know, I did it here, so it's fine. Yeah, just a bit into audio. But yeah, guys, make sure you check out part one of this. This is gonna lack context. This is part two. That's like a sort of grooves esque track. It's definitely more hypnotic, triple micro house, but it's a good track nonetheless. So the track is done. Um, you can see the layering, uh, you know, putting like a clap on a clap, kicks on kicks, hats on hats. Um, when you adjust the volume, add EQ, saturation, compression, you kind of get a whole new instrument and you can kind of merge the qualities of two two hats or two claps together and then you kind of can get the the, the sharpness of one clap and the, the duration of the other and then if you layer them nicely you get a kind of fatter sound overall it's just got a bit more body in the frequency spectrum and um, yeah it's always interesting uh, layering instruments and drums because it just increases the quality of the sound when done well and it's just a real skill um, and yeah some people are really good at layering stuff like fortet burial um, floating points and um, yeah that there, there's a few people out there that are just great at layering and um, it's a skill you should definitely practice it's more of an advanced expert skill uh, that's why I'm including it on the channel. It's more of a kind of advanced skills channel. Um, and, um, yeah, definitely, once you get into it, start practicing layering your drums or your bass, and you'll see new characteristics will come when you mix the in instruments down or the drums and the, the bass down. And it's going to create a totally different sound. So, yeah, top tip for you guys. Let's listen back to this track now, see if there's anything I'd change. Oh, I love that noise. That's so cool. Jesus. Honestly.
I think that's it, that's the track, um, yeah, got some cool sound in there, hope you guys enjoyed, and speak to you in the next one, peace. <laughs>